हेलो एवरीवन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थैंक यू सो मच फॉर सेलेक्टिंग आवर कोर्स फ्लटर फॉर बिगिनर्स बाय इंडियन इनोवेशन माय नेम इज़ राधिका शाह एंड आई एम गोइंग टू बी योर इंस्ट्रक्टर फॉर दिस कोर्स सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड एंड सी व्हाट वी आर गोन टू लर्न थ्रू आउट दिस कोर्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज दैट वॉट इज़ फ्लटर फ्लटर इज अ गूगल्स यू आई टूलकेट फॉर बिल्डिंग ब्यूटिफुल एंड नेटिवली कंपाइल एप्लीकेशन फॉर मोबाइल वेब एंड डेस्कटॉप फ्रॉम अ सिंगल कोड बेज सो बाय राइटिंग वन कोड यू कैन रन दैट पर्टिकुलर एप्लीकेशन फॉर एनी डिवाइस वेदर इट इज़ एन एंड्रॉयड आई ओ एस डेस्कटॉप वेब और लेनक्स एप्लीकेशन नाउ फ्लटर प्रोवाइड्स एक्सप्रेसिव एंड ब्यूटिफुल यू आईज इट गिवज यू द कंट्रोल ऑफ एवरी पिक्सल ऑन द स्क्रीन Second, it achieves that never say no to your designer. It gives you the power of widgets from which you can simply understand which are easy to use and quicker to apply as well. So with the help of this a variety of widgets, you can never say no to your designer. You can implement even the complex design with the help of simple widgets and which are handy to use. your applications and product will also stand out in the marketplace now flutter provides beautiful animations there are many types of animation provided by flutter which are twin hero sliver transform fade in widget animation builder up animated opacity physic based animations and so on and throughout this course we are going to explore few of them as well in our flutter applications so these are some points which make flutter unique from other frameworks which is it compiles to native code second there is no reliance on oem widgets third there is no bridge needed and fourth no markup language is needed because flutter uses the power of dart now before going further that what dart is first let us understand the flutter architecture flutter is designed as an extensible layered system It exists as a series of independent libraries that each depend on the underlying layer. No layer has a privileged access to the layer below and every part of the framework level is designed to be optional and replaceable. Flutter applications are packaged in the same way as any other native application. A platform specific embedder provides an entry point. Coordinates with the underlying operating system for access to services like renderings rendering surfaces accessibility and input and manages the message event flow the embedder is written in a language that is appropriate for the platform currently java and c++ for android objective c or objective c++ for ios and mac os and c++ for windows and linux at the core of the flutter is our flutter engine which is mostly written in c++ and support the primitive necessary to support all flutter applications the engine is exposed to the flutter framework throughout the dart ui package which wraps the underlying c++ code in dart classes now typically the developer interacts with the flutter through the flutter framework which provides a modern reactive framework written in the dart language it includes a rich set of platform layout and foundational libraries composed of a series of layers which working from the top to bottom we have as follows first we are having our foundation libraries now basic foundation classes are and building block services such as animation painting and gestures that offer commonly used abstractions over the underlying foundation the rendering layer provides an abstraction for dealing with layout with this layer you can build a tree of renderable objects you can manipulate these objects dynamically with the tree automatically updating the layout to reflect your changes after this we are having the widgets layer the widget layer is a composition abstraction each render object in the rendering layer has a corresponding class in the widgets layer this is the layer at which the reactive programming model is introduced after this we are having the material and cupertino libraries which offers comprehensive set of controls that use the widget layers composition primitives to implement the material or ios design languages so this was our flutter architecture now flutter uses the dart language now dart is in client optimized language for fast apps on any platform whether it is web desktop mobile or embedded
it provides you a huge range of libraries okay it is also having uh, packages manager and this is its official website http colon slash slash pub dot dev where you can find all the external dependencies or packages that you require to develop your flutter applications and it compiles to javascript now everything is a widget in flutter what is a widget widget is nothing else but whatever the ui whether it is visible or invisible in your flutter application is a widget let me explain you with the help of this diagram here as you can see that just imagine we are having a screen in which we are having a text column button and a container so each text and column and button is our widgets now this basic widgets are wrapped inside a scaffold which is also a widget and again the scaffold is wrapped inside a material app which is a widget so everything is a widget in flutter you can find great details and examples about the basic widgets from the flutter website they have provided a widget catalog which showcases you all sort of widgets whether it is basic standard or materials with their complete detail api references and examples now flutter framework is supported in multiple ides whether it is android studio vs code or telejsense and etc for our course we are going to use the android studio now there are huge companies who have developed their applications with the help of flutter whether it is bmw or google pay or crowdsource dream 11 epay irobot hamilton four picks one word game others are new bank reflectively and so on so in the current scenario flutter is developing in a rapid speed now many companies are looking for flutter developers because as i said earlier that it is one code base and it will run on multiple platforms and it is having an amazing ui development kit and as you all know that flutter is developed by google so its community is always active by giving us the releases of each flutter version with some development and fixes and features and now the flutter google team has provided us so many resources whether it is flutter official website or whether it is their official youtube channels and other things we are going to learn about how to create different layouts by understanding the basic widgets okay and we are also going to explore some database storage options as well okay now there are two sorts of database first is a local database and second is network databases in local database we are going to see about how to use shared preference hive package and sqlite and in our network database storage we are going to create a flutter to do app using firebase and as a bonus lecture we are going to see how you can upload your flutter application or flutter projects to github now these are some links which will be very much useful to you and it will also be proved resourceful while you will be learning flutter so the way to get started is to quit talking and begin doing so that's a great thing said by walt disney so this was our complete tour that what we are going to learn in this course so in our next video we'll get started with our installation and setup process so see you soon in the next video